Welcome back. We're going to take a look at a classic programming challenge for beginners here. You tell me if a number that the user entered is prime or not. Now to check if a number is prime, we're going to use a very simple system. Let's say they enter a number uh, like 13, which is prime. Well, how do I know it's prime? I basically start counting at 2 and go 13 divided by 2. Is there a remainder? Yep. Okay, 13 divided by 3. Is there a remainder? Yes. 13 divided by 4. 13 divided by 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, you don't actually have to go all the way up to 12 or 13. Uh, just logic will tell you that you can stop at half the number. So that's what we're going to do. If you can get through all those numbers and never find a nice division, you know you got a prime number. So let's give that a go using that system. Let's get them to type in a number. Whoa, enter a number to test for prime. They enter their number. Now, what I think I'm going to do here <clears throat> is I'm going to start at 2 and go up to num divided by 2. I could actually use any of the loop types here, but what I think I'll do is I think I'll use a uh, I think I'll use a for loop for this one just to show you something, and I'm going to say k started at two, and I'm going to keep k this or sorry this loop going while it is less than the number divided by two. Okay, so you're allowed to do that inside your conditions, right? As long as that makes sense to the compiler, you're going to be good. And I'd like k to go up by 1. Now, what do I do? The loop is going to start at 2. What do I check? I just want to check what the remainder is. So I'm going to go uh, integer remainder is num. And of course, from way back, I'm going to use modulus. So num modulus k. So this will be, let's say my number was 13. 13 mod 2 there will be some remainder. So I'm going to ask a little question here though. I don't know for all numbers if there'd be a remainder, but I'm just going to ask if the remainder is equal to zero, remember what that means. If there's no remainder, that means nice division must be a factor not prime, right? That's what the remainder zero would tell you. Pause the video. Make sure you agree with that before we go on. Okay, you're convinced. What do we do if the remainder is zero? Well, for this video, I'm going to show you one new thing. It's called the flag variable. And for our flag variable, <clears throat> I'm going to do a little new type of variable here called a Boolean. Now, we haven't shown you this type before, but I'm going to call it flag. Okay, you don't have to, but I'm just going to call it flag. And the Boolean variable is a nice simple one. It has two values, true or false. And you literally just type those words out. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to say true. And what my flag is trying to remember is this. I'm going to assume the number is prime. And I'm going to try to use my loop to prove that it's not prime. Okay, and we'll see what happens. So assume it's prime, flag is true. But if you find the remainder is zero, you know you just found a factor. Now you can say flag is false. I'm going to say, hey, false, this thing is not prime. Okay. Now the way this is structured right now, the loop just continues on. Okay. Is it prime? How about this? Let's just say result flag. Okay, and flag will be true or false. So think about this for a second. Let's say we never ever find a number going from 2 to halfway that divides in nicely, then this code will never take place. And if this never takes place, flag will still be true. And this will say result true otherwise true it's a prime number but if you even go through those numbers and you find one number that divided in nicely right with a remainder of zero the flag is going to be set to false once this flag is set to false 
if you look at this loop code, which is going round and round here, it's never going to set flag back to true. Okay, flag was set to true up here, but never inside the loop. So once it's false, it's false. And then it prints out the flag. Let's test this with a couple of numbers and see what happens. <clears throat> so let's do a number that I know is prime, 13. Result, true. Okay, let's test again. Another prime number, 19. Okay, result, true. Let's try a number like 2. Is 2 prime? Hold on here. And yeah, 2 is prime. I, I must be getting old that I have to stop and think about that for a second. Um, let's give another number here. Let's test some numbers that we know have factors. So 12. False. Run file. 4. False. Let's say you're curious if 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is prime. False. Okay. If we wanted to, you could modify the code, you know, to actually print out when you find a nice remainder. So you could actually show some of the factors of the number, right? <clears throat> now, that's a nice uh, little use of something new called a flag. Uh, flags aren't always the Boolean variable, but often a flag is supposed to be like yes or no. So the true, false Boolean variable is perfect for this purpose, right? Now, some people say, you know, if you found a factor, like let's say the number 3 divided in, why do you keep the loop going? Do you have to go all the way up to that number? And the answer is no, you don't have to. And here's the second bonus code inside of this. There's a command called break. <clears throat> the break command breaks you out of whatever loop you're in. So I'm inside of this for loop right now. The break command will break me out of that loop. So it doesn't matter where you are, it sets flag to false, break. Obviously, if you are going up to billions of numbers and you find one very early on, hey, set the flag to false, break out of the loop, you just saved a whole bunch of uh, cycles on the processor, right? And you'll see here, this doesn't change our code at all. I can type some really big number. Result false. Okay, still works. If you actually counted, start the debugger and go through that, you'll actually find where it breaks out very early on. All right, that's the prime number example, right? Two great new things there, the flag and break.